Alright guys, how's it going? My name's Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you episode number 5 of the base visit series and as you can see I only have 4 clans to review here so please if just I haven't been getting too many requests recently so I don't want this series to die down this quickly so just please if you want me just to review your friends base or review someone in your clans base just send it to me send their name to just stay clan the clan they're in and the clan tag as well if the clan's popular but anyway so just get into the video it won't be too long one because there's only four members here so starting off here we're going to marvin pdx's clan pdx nation and we're looking at rz hank here and i did review my thing in my first episode so let's see how he's doing now so again now he's switched to a farming base no he's i think he switched to a farming base here and how's it looking at the moment I'm looking at the clan castle, very good placement on the clan castle, nicely centralised. Dark Elix, I'd say, is in quite a vulnerable space, you can easily get barge from the top if you have full Dark Elix, sir. But, I can see you upgrading your king here, and how much Dark Elix you got in at the moment? Not too much at all, so. Fair enough, you're doing alright at the moment, your king is going to level 9, so i say get him to level 10, and then focus on getting your queen to level 10 there, after that. I'm looking at these little holes in the base, I don't know how they work out well, I think you can just with one barbarian or one weak troop the person will have they could trigger off two giant bombs if it, if that's what you have in those gaps there and what else is this looking at um nice expos i'd say keep it at level two do not or keep this one at level one and just leave that one level two do not upgrade them to level three until you get a much higher town hall nine because they will put you a lot higher up in the warm maps and I don't think you'd want that because you're going to have to you're going to attract more harder opponents and have to attack lower opponents there looking at your walls mostly level 7 here so I'd just say focus on with your goals for, instead of a defenses don't max them out focus on getting those walls to all level 8 and then start doing them to level 9 air sweepers are in a great position covering this one side of a base both level three here so i just say when you have a spare goal get them to level four and then maybe to level five because they are very effective in wars i just realized that and yeah so dark barracks you got a level five barrack you get that one to level six so you can get a lava hound and then start maxing that lava hound out so you can start using strategies like go laloon and that what else is there to look at your dark elixir drills they are level three and level three so i'd say max those dark elixir drills out that's your priority now with elixir that's the easiest way to get your heroes upgraded with such with such a fast generating amount of dark elixir when they're level 6 you, you're basically picking up in the morning when you wake up like 2000 dark elixir that's about how much I'm picking up when I wake up so anyways now looking at your troops here level 8 king as level queen, level 9 king I mean because you're upgrading it and level 5 queen your spells level 5 lightning I think that's max for town hall 9 so that's alright get those heal spells to level 6 because if you're going to try strategies like go hog actually not really your hogs are very low level I say ma get those hogs maxed out because even when you're attacking very low town hall 9s all hogs might even work out sometimes so also yeah just your priority now is to get all those hogs to level 5 with your when when you're trying to focus on the troops in your lab to upgrade get focus on getting those hogs to level 5 other, other troops wise your farming troops your barge troops are good both maxed out for town hall 9 rage spell really good jump spell really good you've only got poison spell and you've only got it level 1 so I just say upgrade the spell factory and then upgrade the poison spell but I can see you're fairly new town hall 9 I think even though you have got cannons level 11 I say do not upgrade the archer towers leave them level 1 maybe get all your air defenses to that level 7 one but that's it that's it after you upgrade defenses do not overpower yourself in defense wise because you will struggle in wars 166 war stars one that is good almost got the spores of wars second achievement star achievement there and looking at your farming 160 million gold over 160 million gold and almost 140 million elixir grabbed and dark elixir grabbed almost you've just got one third of the way there so that's looking good at the moment so yeah thanks for the second summit rz hangs and maybe you can submit in about five more episodes if this does carry on so next one here we're gonna go to is in bay clan here and we look how many members we got jesus 43 i just realized we're getting a lot of requests now because we're getting much stronger here and we're looking at richard at the moment and yes he's got a solid looking base here very very strong wow so yep looking at it, first thing you can see all walls are level nine that's ideal for a nice town or nine air sweepers level five both of them so that's brilliant both in very good positions both covering 
in quite a weird shape, but I'm assuming they do do good. This one does cover that one air defense, and this one I think sort of covers the other air defense. But as well, looking at your your defenses, they are all maxed here. As I know you already have them all maxed. Dark elixir drills all maxed. I know this is kind of a warp. Yeah, this is. I think I think this is a war base. Yeah, so you made just one war base into a farming base here, so that's good. And yeah, so solid base. Not much more you can do, I don't think, except your heroes. Heroes are still quite weak. Only level 15 for a max defense, so get those heroes up. I think if you're a new member, you wouldn't have got accepted. Sorry, Rich. But anyways, looking at your troops now. Max spells, of course. Every troop is maxed, in fact, except the Valkyrie, so solid there, Richard. So whether you're spared Dark Elixir, I'd say forget the Valkyries, honestly. Get those king, get that king and queen to level 20 each, and then maybe with your spared Dark Elixir, then upgrade those Valkyries. Poison spell and, poison spell and Earthquake spell, and I think you can upgrade them more, so get the Poison spell to level 3, so you can destroy those weaker troops in clan castles like our current war a lot quicker. But anyways, yeah. Solid base, not too much to talk about. It's a great base layout. It's a solid looking base. So just max out all those walls with your gold and your elixir there. I think that's all you can do with your gold and elixir. Just max out those walls. But don't think about going town or ten soon because you might get kicked. <laughs> so, anyways, number three here is Danny from Tebow's Army. Have have struggled finding him, but finally we got him here. Somewhere down here, I think he is. Um. Did I miss him? I think I missed him. Danny, Danny, Danny. I don't tell me I missed him. I lost him. Had him like... Oh, there you go. He was further down. Okay. Danny here. First look at this base. And it's looking quite good, I think, at the moment. Nicely placed clan castle. Centralized clan castle. I like the four archer towers. That is quite cool. You don't usually see that. I think they do do quite good damage as four of them together I think that's really good here um, mortars very well placed all taking their side of a base very sim this base is I think very symmetrical except for storages yeah this base is completely symmetrical except for storages and some defenses like this archer town this cannon so I like the symmetrical bases town or eight walls level lots of level seven well actually yeah you've got more level eight ones than level seven my bad there so that's looking really good dark elixir drills i think level three are max dark elixir drills so you've got that great yeah so your king is hiding in the corner going to level 10 so that's brilliant again and yeah your base is looking awesome at the moment i think get those barracks i think to level to all peckers you've only got one pecker barrack if you're doing like go white pog attack strategies then you're going to want more than one pecker barrack because you might it might take quite long or if you're even trying to push you're going to want more than one pecker barrack because i think when you push you usually do go wipe attack strategies from my experiences but anyway yeah you, you have a solid looking base everything is maxed defense wise and except your walls and yeah so king going level <laughs> king going level 10 so that's brilliant and yeah so once you max everything out you can settle down a bit in town hall eight and then go to town or nine soon again level seven clan so you're definitely at war so again like i said i'd say level i'd stay town or eight for a while to just pick up your war stars and yeah so king level 10 all your spells elixir wise are maxed poison spell get to level two and an earthquake i think you can get to level two pardon me if i'm wrong but i can't remember off the top of my head every elixir troop here is maxed yes i'm right there dark elixir troops i'd say yeah you've even got the hogs max as well wow so that's everything except your minions i think you can get them to level four so max out your minions of course and yeah so we, and get your valkyries to level two so just makes your profile look a lot better and honestly you have a solid looking base so i don't mind you hopping over here for a few wars if you know how to hog attack but yeah brilliant base danny and just looking at your gold grab again 250 million almost at gold grabbed over 200 million elixir grabbed and one third of a heroic heist dark elixir achievement so brilliant looking base there danny and thanks for submit and last but not least here we have clav games 321 from firing range here this is ad plays clan i don't know why he's disappeared he was youtubing but he did stop then start again now he stopped so i don't know why he's disappeared but it doesn't matter about that get into the base and first look at this base i see the clan castle not a very good placement there i don't think i think that's a very too too it's too much to one side and very easily lurable so i say try fix up your base so you can centralize your clan castle more even if you have to move one of the mortars out to the side just 
to remove a symmetrical part of this base but yes yeah, again another symmetrical base very symmetric this is again like except for these last two defenses this is very symmetrical at the moment i could sorry i can see you're going town hall nine at the moment i think that's a little bit too early seeing that you've got a few more walls to do but maybe by the time you go town hall nine you would have finished all those walls but yeah so just you got a i think you're maxed on elixir yes you are maxed on elixir gold not so much here so i think you're maybe doing your walls but you haven't got too many to do but i'm assuming maybe if i'm right by the time you get to town online you'd have all your walls done but other than that everything else is looking good dark elixir drills both maxed out for town hall eight there yes they are you got your spell factory upgraded everything is looking beast about this base and again nice layout but just put a clan castle in a bit more spell wise all elixir troop all elixir spells maxed all elixir troops maxed and almost all dark clicks of troops max one thing i just say get those hogs to level four i'm just having a look at your dark clicks at the moment it is quite empty and your lab is going so i'm praying you're upgrading your hogs at the moment that's what i'm assuming you should be doing at the moment but other than that one yeah just that's it all you have is one more level for valkyries and maybe just start doing your dark elixir spells a bit more so that they're going to be much stronger but other than that what else is there to look why am i looking at your clan God. <laughs> Other than that, looking at your gold grab, 146 million gold grab, 140 million elixir grabbed, and almost got the second achievement for heroic high. So just get farm dark elixir a lot more. And yeah, so you're looking at a brilliant base, and that's going to just wrap up for this episode. So yeah, again, guys, if you're still watching for this too long, if you're watching at this part of the video, don't think many of you will, but yeah, so just please refer me to like review bases to your friends or your clan mates just to help this series start growing more and getting more requests because i don't want to stop this series just yet but anyways guys that's gonna wrap it wrap it up for this video hope you enjoyed and that's it from me guys and bye bye